to Jeff TV. I am Fumilayo Okora for compliments of the season to you. This is the month of December, the month of celebration, the month of giving, receiving, sharing, showing love and laughter all the way. I welcome you to today's episode. Jeff TV showcases events of all sorts, be it a wedding, housewarming, child dedication, whatever kind of event. We come to your event venue with multi cameras, with our crew, with our draw, with our gadgets, and we cover that event of yours with multi cameras and showcase it right here to the world at large on Jeff TV platform. Still on the month of celebration, still on the month of giving, a great woman of God decided she has always done this back to back. This year was not an exception as she gathered yet again widows drawn from all sectors to give them gifts food and clothing of all kind she is no other person other than ambassador evangelist mrs Anne philip okunduga as she has been giving this people gifts over the years over 10 years ago with a very good biography on how all of this came to be yes Jeff TV actually gave her an exclusive background an exclusive interview so that we could know where all this philanthropic gesture is coming from and she took her time to explain them to you right here this is all straight to you to your viewership to for so that you can actually see how to show love to people this festive period she was also given awards surprisingly she was not expecting this it was an award of recognition by other bodies who have been monitoring all her doings over the years people gathered in mass the widows filled the place to capacity i was like whoa are these widows just here in those states they gathered at groa to receive gifts and they were super excited Without saying too much, please, our phone numbers are right there on your screen. Give us a call ahead of your event. Wherever your event venue may be, in Benin, in Abuja, in Lokoja, in Port, wherever, just give us a call. We'll be there to cover your event. We travel. We cover multi events in one date. Same crew, same quality, same delivery. Trust us on that. Without wasting much time, let's go see the charity work of evangelist Mrs. Anne Philip Okundura as she celebrates with the widows. Do enjoy this. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, this automatically implies that God is love and love is given. It is on this principle that Ambassador Evangelist Anne Philip Okodora, a philanthropist and a kind-hearted woman of God, gathers destitutes, indigents, less privileged, widows and those in most need of help every year to demonstrate special art of kindness by giving them food, clothing, money and diverse sorts of help. This year, all gathered at GROA Benin City, especially widows, to receive from this great woman of God. But before we showcase this in details, let's get the background story of this great woman of God, Ambassador Evangelist Anne Philip Okodura. I am Mrs. Anne Philip Okodura, uh, from Nigeria, Edo State. I am born and brought up in a kingdom called Uboha, to the family of late Mr. Ebuluese, where my mommy's name is Mrs. Iriase. Ebulese, a unique family. My mom is the first wife of my dad. I'm into a polygamous home. And the fifth child of my mom. 
at a tender age, at the age of six, I was given out as a maid. So, I suffered a lot. And I felt that gave me the heart that when I see anybody going through pain, it took as if the person is playing back my tape because of what I went through. What gave me the heart of sympathy is because of what I went through as a maid. One year like that, when I, when I start growing and I know what it is, a child was living close to a house where I was living then. Her name is Peace. The person she was staying with was maltreating her. So one morning, the woman wanted to beat her. I took the cane for her. So I, I don't like seeing somebody being maltreated because of the pain that I went through from my six years, when I was six years old. In the midst of that, a lot happened that wanted to truncate my destiny. But because so ever God love, from the beginning is like an election. When the devil is trying to fortuit or frustrate the purpose and the plan of God, sometimes he would think he has succeeded, but he wouldn't know that God will write another episode about you. Now in this aspect of ministry, when Christ found me, he told me something. He said, you are the stone that the builder rejected. I will make you the chief cornerstone. I didn't know what he meant until he began to play out those things time after time. I discovered that I can be in a place. There was a day I went to the market on a Christmas period like this. That should be about 10, 15 years ago. A lady went to market and bought things. She dropped it. While she was trying to buy something else, somebody picked up her load. She was crying. I gave her the money that I brought to the market to buy things. So many like that. I can't stand to see somebody sharing tears. I can't stand to see people feeling pain. Then I discovered that when Christ called me, his calling upon my life is unique. He want me to go through the ministry the way he practices it. So by his grace, it has been wonderful. This giving aspect has been a part and parcel of me. You know, it's like when you bought a phone. There are things that came with the phone. Okay? Why there are things that you downloaded? This aspect of me giving out things to widow, it came with me. Aspect of giving arm, it came with me. It's not a thing that I downloaded. Now we know a little of the history. Let's begin. The widows are all seated in the presence of God as DJ entertains them with gospel tunes. Here comes the woman of the hour, the rave of the moment, God's servant and cheerful giver, Ambassador Evangelist Anne Philip Okoduga, as all welcome her with excitement. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
this video please subscribe to jab tv click on the notification button like and share this video so that youtube will recommend it to others thank you Officially, the host addressed the widows with words of hope. This morning, if you celebrate God, Mama, because He's your husband, you are His first lady. Celebrate yourself. Celebrate yourself. Do you know the reason why we gather here today? Are you getting it? Yes. From January to December. Yes. If you not say the Lord will meet you for hospital celebrate. Yes. If you not say the Lord will meet you for hospital celebrate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If you not, and you know. I will read it to you. 
Amen. The word of God said, if they are to go by their strength, those people will kill them. Do you know what he told them? He said, begin to dance and sing. As they were dancing and they were singing, Mama, God lay ambush for their enemies. You know that they call ambush? You they go somewhere. You know the same person hides, they wait for you for road. Today, God will lay hands on our enemies. Mama, we think pray amiss, but we know the dance amiss. We know the celebrate amiss. We know the praise God amiss. I want to beg you, even if now one hour, I will just want to praise God here now. body for devil. Yes. You they shake your body for God, you they shake a devil, they look you. Yes. You say, where this person put his strength? Yes. You can understand. Yes. You go they ask, where is strength today? No, no, no. They go they try to discover your strength, but they're not fit. You go tell that person, nice. when you feel no where your strength is yes. to yes. tell you how God tell the foundation of the earth. Yes. He will take that person to tell you how much I say and talk about He will take that person to tell you how God they become God. Nobody. Anybody do? No. He will take that person to tell you how far they take it back to Jesus. Without the union of a man. If they cannot explain it, they are not still in a secret. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know why you will dance? You know why you will praise? Because immediately you start to the dance. <laughs> oh! Oh! Immediately you start to the dance. They will not say something that happen for your people. And sing. God did what? Laid ambush for the enemies. What did they do at the end of the day, Mama? They begin to kill themselves. Still in the mood of worship, she led them into prayers. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are going to take few prayer points. My father, my fighter. My father, my fighter. We came to say thank you. We came to say thank you. For January. For January. February. February. March. 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 April. 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 May. Praise the Lord. 
Amen. Amen. You are going to pray. If you get the king when the woman, pray for her. Say, God, he and the husband will leave. Amen. 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 If you get son when you don't marry, pray for her. Say, he and the wife will leave the two old age. Open your mouth as well. We are going to pray no short prayers, then we close this section. Praise God. Hallelujah. I pray for as many of you that are here this morning. In your own age, you will not suffer. Listen to me. Listen to me. It's a painful thing. And at times, the things we want to do, we cannot do it. And we want our children to do more that. But still, enemy say no. I, I want to have something in mind before you leave here today. Every enemy that is saying no to the death of your children. My Because of the temperature of the day, the widows were served with cold water to cool off.
The second highlight of the event was the surprise presentation of merit award to the host by a corporate organization who have been monitoring her good works over the years. We are living in a society where the less privileged are lacking empaths. We are living in a society where the downtrodden, our widows, our orphans, they no longer have empaths. They allow them to be in an helpless and hopeless situation. But today, somebody has come to open the curtain. Are you enjoying this video? Please like the video so that YouTube will recommend it to others. Subscribe to Jeb TV and click on the notification button. Thank you. The main highlight of the event is a presentation of bags of rice to all the widows present by Ambassador Evangelist Ann Philip Okundura.
For the sake of our audience of diverse tribes and nationalities, we will translate the interviews of the widows who spoke in native languages. I am Mrs. Osaro Dion. I am a widow. I have been living without help for many, many years. But since I met Mama over seven years now, she has always fed me and my children and provide for us with different materials every year. My God will bless you. I am overwhelmed. I am delighted for what has been given to me today. God will surely bless you, Ma. Thank you very much. I have been receiving from Mama for the past six years. She is truly a good woman with an open heart. Ma, I thank you for giving me this bag of rice even at this difficult point of time. May the good Lord replace the source you took this from. Thank you, Ma. I just want to say thank you to this great woman of God for her kindness towards the widows. If the rich remember the poor, then Nigeria would have been a better nation. I am so grateful for this bag of rice and my God will surely bless you. Ma. Evangelist is a wonderful woman with a good heart. I thank you Ma. From the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate this bag of rice. I love you so much Ma. You are a special servant of God. You will never suffer in life or lack anything in Jesus name. I thank God in heaven for making me be a part of this. Hunger has almost taken the better part of me. I have been receiving food from our mother for over six years now. I am also among those she gave food and wrappers last year at Ringwood. God will bless you for us for being a friend to the widows. I am Madam Ekato. I have been struggling to feed my children. I never knew where today's food is going to come from until I heard that Mama is sharing food as usual today. I am so very delighted receiving this bag of rice. The Most High God will surely bless you Mama and all those that support you. attention and listen to the last verse of the exclusive interview with the hosts. I don't know if I can be able to measure the years but I know it will be more than 20 years. Yes, more than. One, in fact, one at Ring Road, that one is of last year. That of 20 years ago, I saw, I should call it a group of people. Yes. I just, sometimes I go to orphanages, I'll just give out arms, sometimes I share clothes, sometimes I cook, I carry to 
beggars. Mostly on New Year Day, I do it yearly. I remember the one year, I forgot, I didn't want to do it. I just said, please, people carry food to them all the days. But that very day, God woke me up. He said, go and cook your food. So while I was cooking, and I went to my storeroom, I discovered I didn't have takeaway to wrap the food. I went to buy cellophane and wrap the food on it. For you to know how serious God is when he gave you a covenant, God told me, he said, the same way you use cellophane to serve those people food, throughout today, the food you are going to eat, you will eat it from cellophane. And that is what I did. <laughs> because it's a continuous process. I do it every year, just as I told you before. Last year's own, today's own, wonderful. So we continue it till Christ comes. On this very one, a lot of people supported. And some of them were even quarreling. You didn't say it on time. Ah, Mama, why did you not tell us? We would have done this, we would have done that. So I told them next year is going to be a, what would I call it? It's going to be a rainfall. <laughs> a, mega. a mega one. So when you let us prepare for next year. Okay, so if anybody wants to partner, it's a good thing because when the church we are given birth to, the word of God says, in the days of his power, people will be willing. So when the church we are given birth to, you discover that people we are selling what they have. They will bring it and drop it at the apostles' feet. Apostles in return will give it to people that do not have. Not what we are seeing today in the pulpit. I don't want to go into that. Okay. So that is what God will want from everybody that want to contribute, they want to partner. In fact, Jesus will be happier to see us coming together doing that. So many times I have seen her do that. Even she go out of her ways to make sure she puts smile on people's faces. Uh, like three years ago, she gathered some widows. She went to the church, you know, she gave them gifts. She could take her wrapper from her shop New ones, not used one. New ones, six years. Maybe they cost about seven thousand naira each. She will share to like ten. At times it beats my imagination. Ah, what kind of woman is this? Because me, I can't do that. Taking ten wrapper from my shop to give, and there's nothing in return. We, you know, we are human, but she does that. So I believe this giving is a part of her. It's imbued in her. So I just pray that God will give her more grace and wisdom to carry this affair because it's not easy. It's not easy. No, uh, somebody that does not have that grace cannot do what she's doing. And uh, aside that, last year it was a massive one at uh, Ring Road. So she really feed them food, they eat there and they take away too that they took home. And today she repeated the same thing and I just want to thank God for her life. I was shocked the way you were shocked. So I didn't even know that this group of people has been seeing what I am doing. I am shocked. In fact, I'm happy because this is the first award I have ever received throughout my life. You see, the, the, the award came as a surprise and a gift. Darling, you could be doing something. You don't know that there are eyes, ears that are seeing you. Why the mouth that are nurses, we are nursing. No wonder Jesus, uh, God said, that is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. Today, God shows me that all that I have been doing, that he's pleased with it. That's the reason why this one came in a surprise. Who, who uh, may I speak pidgin English? Who oh, be me when I go say I want? Do you know? When I was growing as a little child, I wanted to study law. So the only way I would have gotten this kind of thing is through study. But God just make me to understand that He is the one that alleviates. So today, God makes me to understand that. It is him that I live it. Promotion do not really come from man. Because if I were to say, come and give me an award, I don't believe that those people will come and give me an award. I'm shocked. But all the same, all the glory go to my maker. Who found me worthy to use as a pen 
of a ready line writer. Help me to celebrate God. So I was so excited because uh, I didn't see it coming. Uh, you know, um, the people people give award these days is people that uh, maybe the politicians, those that you know craving for posts. But I could see that there are people still monitoring you and looking at what you are doing. That you are doing selflessly, and you could touch people's hearts. You know, giving them putting smile in their faces and making them to have a better tomorrow. So I want to thank God and I'm happy that uh, she's my, you should know, she's my friend, my sister and my Ienokwa. You know, giving such a honor, you know, I'm so, so happy for her. And I pray that so many honor bigger than this will come away in Jesus' name. My advice to them is this, you cannot give a lack. It's not possible. Why? Because you can't beat God in giving. Are you seeing it? He said, give, it shall be given back to you. Good measure, press down, shaking together. Shall men, it then means if I give to you, I give to this, I give to this. People that I do not expect, God will compare them to give to you. I think it's in the book of First Chronicles where God said, Uzzah was greatly helped by God. When you are helper to people, God will now become your helper. So, little advice to the people out there. Please. I want to beg you, even if you don't know how to pray and you know how to give, sweetheart, nothing on earth will stop your God-giving glory. You must be fulfilled.
for staying. This is still Jeb TV. I do hope, I sincerely hope you enjoyed that act of giving by Ambassador Evangelist Mrs. Anne Philip Okunduga. You saw how she did not only just give the widow's gift and like, oh, go home. She prayed with them for more security, yes. Because it's God in heaven that is coming to actually bless and protect them all the way. She has just played her own part by giving them support by giving them gifts and hope in terms of words of encouragement and all of that and to tell them even though your spouses are gone people are still out here who loves you and who want to show this love to you in practicality that's what we just saw right here on this platform I want to say very big congratulations to the ambassador herself she was surprised when she was receiving her award she never 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 expected it she did didn't see it coming thank you so much ma that's what you get when you have a good heart when you have an open heart to support to give to people without expecting reward in return thank you so much to all the widows for putting a smile on their faces for making them happy a lot of them i believe never even knew how they are going to celebrate this xmas but from this act of giving, from what they have received, I know for sure they, they, they have a whole lot of testimonies, a lot of songs and praises to give all the way. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you to the NGO. Thank you to the team. If you want to be a part of her, her support, if you want to be a part of her, her program, her vision, and you want to throw in your support to her to enable the work go further, you can as well reach her directly or you can reach her via Jeb TV platform so that the good work of giving will be going far and far. Please do subscribe to our channel today if you're yet to do this. Like and share our videos. Our phone numbers are right there on your screen. Give us a call ahead of your events, no matter the date, distance, or location. We'll be there to cover your events with multi cameras. We, we turn that event of yours into a story. All you need to do is just give us a call. And I tell you, we'll be there to cover your events. Until we come your way again with yet another beautiful package, I remain sincerely yours for Milayo Okorafo. Do have a nice day.